Hey guys, welcome back. We're not quite in the tropics of Australia, but we're not too far away because because of Fruitopia in Melbourne, right? So today's video is uh, a different kind of video for those that enjoy gifts or enjoy um, sharing. So let's see what we've done. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the new camera, which I mentioned in the previous video. And wow, awesome, awesome so far. Uh, I wanted to remind you guys to um, uh, switch to 4K if you have that capability. This new camera is not only um, HD, it's also 4K and it's also 8 K, but we're not going to be doing 8K yet. <laughs> All right, so that's just a, an update on the camera. Yesterday, I forgot to film in 4K, but now I remembered. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's see what today's special video is about. Well, we are going to gift a friend our um, spoils from Fruitopia, and I wanted to share it with you guys too. Yeah, so let's take a look at what is in the package. Okay, I got all the um, the large tropical greens out of the way. And this is what's beneath them in the box. So we have choco. These are choco leaves or chayote as you call it in America. From my choco vine. Let's go and take a look at it. It's right there right it's only been up for three months less than three months and it's already skyrocketed in both directions so I'm very happy with the choco we grow it mainly for the leaves not for the fruit the fruits coming in winter we hope and uh, until then we're enjoying the the greens on the uh, choco slash chayote and there's the taro, which has done really well in the new bed. So if you're thinking, why in the heck would I take choco leaves to um, a friend? Uh, Aussies don't normally eat choco leaves. They eat the fruit or the vegetable. Well, my friend happens to be Asian. And Asians love their leafy greens from various plants. Okay, next. We have these guys here, right? And this is lemon balm. Let's go and check out the lemon balm plant. There it is, coming back for winter. This is more of a winter spring plant. Um, once it's done in, in summer, it grows all these uh, flowers, which you can replant, but I don't do that because one, one pot is enough for us. Next is bay leaf. A few bay leaves. And this is um, very uh, robust. You can use this in cooking and in um, um, desserts. Okay, I've dried the leaves for, for her. These are the, the fresh ones on my bay leaf tree. Right? This is a 22 year old tree. Yeah, bay leaf or laurel leaf. Next, we have this guy here. Some more um, herbs. This one is called lemon thyme. And there's the lemon thyme plant growing in a pot. I grow my, well, most of my herbs in pots. There are exceptions like the, the curry there that's in the ground. Next. Bananas. Yep. These are our bananas, guys. From, uh, not from the tropics, but from Fruitopia. And these are getting on, so we best quickly um, move them. 
and you know very well where the, those bananas are from. They're from the, uh, the garden. See, there's the next rack up there that's coming. It's massive. And another rack there. So many bananas coming in Melbourne. And another rack getting ready to open there. See that one up there, ready to unfold? That's the uh, Blue Java. My first ice cream, ice cream banana um, bunch. Next. These are kaffir or kaffir um, leaves for Asian cooking with a kaffir lime. And there's the limes there. These are kaffir limes, not your Tahitian variety. These are more for um, Thai, Malaysian and um, other neighboring countries type of uh, cooking. And the kaffir lime tree is this one that needs a trim. See how big they get? It's four meters in height. So there you go. Now's the, um, the main growing season. Um, late summer and autumn. So that's the tree there. Next, the mushroom plant that I got from uh, Dailies recently. It's doing really well. Tastes exactly like mushroom, guys. I swear. Let's go and check it out. And there's the plant there. It's still very small. It's only been in the ground for like two months. And I have another one there. So two plants. Next is a uh, white sapoti, Hawaiian Supreme, my favorite. She's getting one of those too. Just about ready, another two days. Some of you are familiar with the white sapoti. This is the Sue Bell right there. A slightly different variety, but also a favorite. So that's the white sapoti. Next is a grapefruit, our very last grapefruit for the season. And we're giving it away, guys. Yamo. There's the tree right there. Right? There might be one or two left, but um, I don't think so. Mm, yeah, there's one, sorry, there's one left. <laughs> so she's getting the second last. And you can see next season's fruit is already starting to blush. Look, that's for next uh, spring and summer. The grapefruit. Gyro persimmon. Kaki. Yeah. These are the first ones. <clears throat> We've been eating these the last um, couple of weeks from the gyro. And the gyro persimmon is right over there. And uh, these are ready to take off. Some of them are because the parrots will destroy them otherwise. So we usually take them off when they're half ripe. Uh, this one's fully ripe. Otherwise, they, um, the birds decimate them. There you go. Look at this. Huh? Fully ripe. This is uh, non astringent, but it quickly becomes soft if you don't pick it. Next, our figs. These are um, a mix of figs from three different fig trees brown turkey, um, um, black genoa and um, gee I forget its name an Italian variety here's a brown turkey which only has about um, a dozen figs left we've been munching on them since early February behind the net 
Mmm, I'm enjoying the the persimmon I just picked. And the other figs were from the white Genoa, which is there and there. There's one coming soon. Right. Next we have the um, passion fruit from our passion fruit vine. Let's go and check that out. Gifts guys, gifts. People love gifts. Don't you? Especially these kind of gifts. The ones that uh, you can't purchase with your David Jones card or your Maya card. Right? And for friends in America, I'm talking about Nordstrom or Sears. Your um, special privileges won't work there for um, what I'm showing you here today in the video. There's the uh, passion fruit vine, which has been awesome all summer. There's not much left. I don't think there's any left. Maybe uh, there's one up there. One, two, yeah, maybe three, maybe half a dozen. Oh, well, they're hidden in there. It's hard to see. But that's where I collected those from. And last but not least, allspice. Wow, allspice. Beautiful. If you're not familiar with this, guys, it's like it's like going on a voyage with the Portuguese back in the 1600s to India and Sri Lanka and exploring these incredible plants for the first time. Let's have a smell. <laughs> Mmm. Ah, lovely. And there's the old spice right here. Yeah, it's only uh, two years old. It survived in uh, the greenhouse last winter, and this winter I'm not sure if I should leave it out or give it another winter in the greenhouse for protection. It's doing really, really well. I have it shaded because it doesn't like hot sun, just like many of the tropicals, until a certain age, right? And uh, he's entering his third year shortly. I think he'll be fine next summer in sun. And then we have cardamom. Wow. Another fragrant tropical which she's gonna really enjoy let's take a look <laughs> look at this huh beautiful that's what it's all about guys real beauty is in the garden and the cardamom or fake ginger, as they also call it, is right here. I've had it growing in the ground with overhead protection for the last eight years. It hasn't flowered yet, as it's uh, true tropical, but it hasn't succumbed to the cold either. So it's somewhere in the middle. And that's somewhere in the middle, guys, is what's known as temperate. Not tropical, not arctic. Next, we have these stunning beauties. Look at them. Look at this. Huh? You recognize these? Anyone? Turmeric. This is turmeric leaf. Not the uh, rhizome that you cook with, although you can cook with all these um, leafy beauties that I'm showing you in uh, Asian, African recipes, not European. This is far from European cuisine, right? Very far from it. Uh, completely unknown. You would have to go to a five-star restaurant in Paris 
to be able to um, try a dish with these leaves thrown in. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I'm back here somewhere. There I am. Pretty? Huh? Can you get prettier than this? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, guys, I love it. And there's the plant right there right next to this little mango and right next to these bananas and sugarcane yeah and our lemon tree turmeric I also have sweet potato growing along here for the leaves, for leaf cover, ground cover. And lucky last are these choco. Did I, show, did I show the choco? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember if I showed the choco. No, yeah, I showed the leaves. Okay. Here we are. The choco leaves. Yeah. And as well as the choco leaves, there's the choco sprouts or tips. So Asians love these and so do we. So these are steamed right and you can have as much crunch as you like or no crunch at all yeah the tips the ones that hang over the fence the ones that are going their own way these are delicious and that guys is our gift basket or gift box from Fruitopia not quite the tropics, but um, just as good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share. And don't forget to also share the gifts of your garden with your friends. And we'll see you from the next video, guys. Bye-bye now.